Okay, so we'll be assembling the automata today, and um, I cut out all my pieces already. Uh, the base, which, um, depending on how big you want it to be, we have one of the sides, the other side, then the bottom here and the top here. Um, also cutting out the crank, um, the kitty, <laughs> the cam follower, and um, the can. And so, cut those out, then I proceeded to put holes wherever you might need holes, like uh, off-center of the camshaft, um, in the middle of the cam follower, and um, through the top and the bottom of the crank, as well as three holes in the base. Um, I did these after I put it together, then I took it apart so I could show you. <laughs> so let's put that together. So, see, we're going to fold along the ridges much easier to fold there. If you cut it out the other way, you can still fold it, but it just won't be as pretty. I'll leave that up to your sense of design. So we're going to tape the um, box together. And we also have the back, which I forgot to mention earlier, but it uh, fits nicely on here. And uh, this is for stability, because you might remember from geometry class, this is going to fall over. If you put it back on here, it won't. You might take a look at your bookshelves if you want to see other examples of that. Even just a really thin piece of particle board will help keep a bookshelf up. So you attach it like this. If you really want to make your geometry teacher happy, you can ask them why. And they'll probably ask you why. I'm not going to tell you. I'll leave that up to your further research. So we have our box. Um, the next thing there we go, is uh, putting it together. So, <laughs> should have known that. So, we have our straw that we cut out. Now, remember, or maybe not remember, but that's not right. So, you can poke these holes in the sides so that they're across from each other. If they're not across from each other, then this won't be straight and it won't work as well. If they're not perfectly across from each other, only you will know. So these go through, and um, I recommend leaving about an inch on one side and a couple inches coming out the other side. This is where a crank's going to go. And then um, line with this up in your brain. Stick this cam on the straw inside the box. Try and make sure that cam is centered. Right now it looks centered to me in the box. So we're going to carefully take it out. And tape it on. Because if this has freedom to move around the straw, when you turn the crank, nothing will happen. Seems simple enough. Um, I found that taping it See, there's the little um, pieces of cardboard from when you push the pen through. Um, if you tape those down, that's kind of the nicest way to do it. And of course, if that doesn't work, you can stick a thousand pieces of tape on, and um, it might not be quite as pretty, but it will work better. Engineering is all about trade-offs. So uh, again, we're going to stick this back in carefully. Sometimes you have to bend the straw a little. That's okay. Sometimes you have to say not nice words under your breath. It's okay too. There we go. So now we have the can. And notice it's off center. That's on purpose. Otherwise, the kitty isn't going to do anything exciting. So next is to attach the um, crank. So the crank has the top piece, which we're going to tape on just like you did with the can. This is kind of like our handle on the crank. Not kind of like, it is. <laughs> um, we're going to stick the other end on the longer end of the uh, straw that is attached to the can. We're going to tape that on also. Again, trying to make sure the tape is as strongly on the straw as it is on the paper so that when we twist this like that, 
this moves and the cam moves. And again, if that's not happening, you should probably fix it now before you move on to the kitty. Uh, so the next thing is to stick your straw through your cam follower, which you already put a hole in, hopefully. Take that. Masking tape would work perfectly well too, or duct tape, I'm sure. Um, but clear tape kind of disappears, thus the clearness. Um, and it's cheaper. Masking tape is expensive, my goodness. So then we're gonna, um, the hole we made at the top, and if you didn't make a hole at the top, make a hole at the top. I put mine as close to the center as I could. Um, we're gonna thread that through and place the cam follower on top of the cam. Now this is another good point to quickly test it. If we move this, see how the cam is not moving up and down? That means our hole is too small. So I need to take it back out and um, use your scissors carefully and kind of get that in there and make that hole bigger. Should be enough. So now when I move this up and down, the cam follows it. So last step is to tape the cat on. said, now we have a dancing kitty. <laughs> All right. Now you might also notice this is not a perfect design. Um, there are a couple things, well, more than a couple. There are many things that could be better. And um, if you look at the PDF document that I referenced, there's a few suggestions. I'll read a couple of them to you now. You can notice e even as I'm doing this, what's happening. The slider keeps falling off, or the cam follower keeps falling off. Um, so you might want to tape that. There's lots of things you can fix on this. Uh, this design is purposely lacking, and um, just in case you don't have access to the PDF document, you might think about, does the cat fall down sometimes? If you made it like I did, it does. How could you fix that? Um, does the cat spin while it goes up and down? It's not supposed to, but sometimes it does. How could you fix that? And the idea here, even though you follow these directions, is that now that you're finished following the directions, now you can start thinking like an engineer. Following directions, I mean, computers can do that. Computers can't be engineers. Um, so now that you follow these directions, now it's time to think. And that's part of the engineering thinking. Um, what would happen if the cam were in a circle? I've seen lots of designs on the internet where the cam is in a circle. What happens? Why is that better? Why is it worse? What will the cat do? Um, should the cat be another animal? I mean, this is about creativity as much as it is about thinking like an engineer. Um, if you're not having fun, then um, you should be. Make it as pretty or as neat as you want. That's why I picked a kitty, especially one with this tongue sticking out, because that made me laugh. All right. Thank you, and tune in next week for Catapults.